a new control has been added for specifying the initial position for five axis operations. Now in previous versions of FeatureCam this was automatically selected by the software and this is made from one of two choices. The user would then be able to simulate this process and then make a decision as to choose the different or alternative 5-axis position. We have now increased this capability and added an enhancement that allows the user to control this default choice through the post processor by selecting either a positive or negative portion of the machine. These positions may be different for every machine but they are specific and the same every time when we're using the same post processor. So in this example you can see I've got two setups with several features on each. Now in this particular instance if I go and look at the current setup I can go in, edit the properties and note that the current 5-axis positioning is set as standard. If I choose edit I can go ahead and select either alternate if I wish to rotate around or use the post preference which is the new option. This can also be done on the operation level for example, if I go into the pocket, into the rough pass one, under milling, and you'll see we get the same options on the pull down menu here. Or I can also do this via the machining attributes under the milling tab. So if I go ahead and simulate as we have it now, in this case I'm using a Hermelay C30 with a Heidenhain 530 controller. If you want to use the same post, it is available inside the folder in the browser. So let's just minimize the toolbox down. Just do a single step on the machine sim. Set up my view. I'm going to play the process so far. So we have a number of pockets, holes, a side operation. Then we index round and we're looking at the back of the machine. So it's a bit difficult to see what's going on on the far side. So we have some options previously where we could have changed so from a machining attributes I can change whatever my default is let's say I want to use the alternate however I've got setups that I've already modified here so I need to modify these so I might I may choose the alternate for this one and also the same for this one if I now do a single step note the position of this large side operation. If I play this through now, by selecting an alternate I've actually indexed the c-axis around. That's not what I want. I just want to keep the top position as I'd expect it and then index around so I get the front or able to see this machining process at the front of the machine. This is where the guesswork was involved in the previous versions of FeatureCam. Let's go back in and change our method. So this time I'm going to use post preference. Let's say finish. And do the same on setup two. Post preference and finish. Again, I could also do this to set my default in my machining attributes as post preference as well. So now this is looking at the post process and deciding what is my orientation. So let's go ahead, use a single step. So at the moment you can see we're machining as we were before, index around and I'm still looking at the back of the machine. I can now quickly change this in the post processor. If I go and edit the post processor into my CNC information 5 axis, note we have a pull down list. So at the moment it's not set. I can now choose between whether I do a positive or negative. Let's choose positive save the CNC and replay my simulation top looks ok the side appears to be indexed around the back so I now know that negative is the direction I want to go we can check this just by verifying the NC code in this case we want to look at the orientation of pocket 4 so I'm going to find pocket 4 scroll down just verify we have an A angle of 90 degrees, so this is moving in the positive direction. If we modify the post, under the 5 axis I'm going to change from positive to negative, and again save my CNC file, 
replay my simulation. Again, the top orientation still looks good. But now as we index round, we can see what's happening on our machining process. You can re-verify this by checking the NC code and again looking for pocket number 4. And now we can see we have a negative A90 rotation.